Okay, so here is my leadership story slide. It starts off with a picture of me at a Dodger game last fall. No particular reason, just because I like this picture and it's one of the better ones that I have, so there it is. Virtual learning, I like virtual learning. It's my preferred method right now, so that's why I have my Bitmoji of me with the computer and the book. So three things about my leadership story. Number one, I got into the field of ed tech in 2014. I was actually trying to get into IT at the time, not necessarily ed tech. I just kind of stumbled into this and I've been in the field ever since. I've grown to like it. I like what I do in it. And I haven't looked back. I'm only looking forward. This is where I want to be. I never wanted to be in education, number two. I never saw myself as a teacher or wanting to get into that field. But as I said, when I discovered or when I stumbled, should I say, into ed tech, I stumbled into education as well. <laughs> and I learned that I have talents in that field, things that I can offer in that field, which is why I like it. So that's kind of how that is, I guess. Uh, so the end goal to this is actually, I do want to become entrepreneurial. I've been told that I am entrepreneurial. I have entrepreneurial traits. I've started or tried to start a few side businesses in the past that have all just kind of fallen through because I would, I guess I would never follow through with them or I would get an idea and then it just wouldn't continue or I would get bored or I decided that that's not what I wanted after all. So that's still a work in progress, but with this instructional design stuff, who knows, that may be a possibility. My favorite music. I have a lot of favorite music. I prefer the oldies, the classics. That's what I grew up on. That's what my parents listened to. So Motown, jazz, R&B, all that kind of stuff. More recently, worship music in the last several years since I've been involved in the worship team at my church. I play the bass guitar. Many of you know that. My favorite artists. I have so many. But for the sake of this presentation, I added three. The Jackson 5, all-time favorite from since when I was a child growing up. Still love them. Foo Fighters, more of a recent odd addition. Should I say in the last maybe six or seven years or so. And The Midnight. If you haven't heard The Midnight, I highly, highly recommend that you do. My dream job. I like to call it Interactive Learning Experience Designer. That's the title that I came up with because it sounds cool and it's more akin to what I like to do when I use Storyline. My second dream job is to be a YouTuber, which that will never happen. Even though I do dabble in that, I do have my own YouTube channel. It's a Nintendo gaming channel. You can find me on there, even though right now it's more of a hobby, something that I kind of like to do on the side. I'll probably never get into that as a career with the way things are going. But as I said before, who knows? But what I really want to do is something where I can leave a legacy behind, something that I can create something to give to the world and say, this is what I did. That's my biggest dream. And my favorite verse. I know this is for like a quote or something like that along those lines, but my favorite verse, I put it right here. It's Philippians 4, 6. This is the New Living Translation. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. And this has proven to be very true in my life as of recently. It's always been my favorite verse, but the more time goes on, the more things kind of start to make sense about where I came from and where I'm going from here. So that's why I appreciate this very much. Anyway, thank you for listening to this presentation on my leadership story.